Because over the years, my clients have taught me um, that weight loss in the physical body is, um, in a large extent, a biofeedback to emotions and um, in uh, their, you know, spirituality, spirituality or lack thereof. And I um, was um, becoming, I've become more and more aware that it's not just an issue, a surface issue. There's always something underlying. And so, um, for me, uh, the coaching has uh, really opened up a lot of doors and um, given me tools to work with um, further than, than just um, the physical realm. So, what I wish to speak with you all tonight is some of those observations and personal experiences of how there is always something more than meets the eye, especially when it comes to the body. So, um, as you see up here on the board, I wrote up four aspects that I recognize as being crucial for them to integrate when you're thinking of changing your lifestyle or your physical body. Um, and the reason is, is it seems as if they all, for, fuse, they all fuse into each other. So if we were just to say, I want to lose weight, and we just look at the nutritional mm -hmm. side, then why is it after so long we fall off and we stop eating healthy? So um, maybe, maybe there were some emotion, emotions that we had attachments to those foods that came into, the, into play. So if, if we can look at all of these components together, then maybe we can integrate and actually have sustainable, that's the key word, sustainable change. So emotionally, if you can feel safe enough um, and find other ways to nurture self, um, other than food or um, different kind of sabotaging behaviors, then maybe we can, you could integrate enough to um, keep your, your diet going, keep your um, physical fitness plan going, and um, the spiritual element too, um, as far as how um, much purpose and connection you feel with others, so it can even go a, a step deeper. And so I just have a question up here, and, and I just, you know, just put these up here so you can ask yourself these questions, you know. Um, do we shape our bodies in order to get our emotional needs met? So how much of our weight is really an expression of how we get attention, how we protect ourselves, um, you know, very much an emotional response or reaction to, the, you know, your life and how you, your beliefs of life. And then also question two, if you can integrate these major components of our well-being, then can you create lasting change? Um, so, the, a lot of these things are on your sheet that I handed out. So I put uh, different imbalances, and then some of the more beha the other behaviors or choices and things of how to get it in balance. So this theme of tonight is channeling uh, the emotions to transform the physical body. And so, really, what I'm just equipping you with tonight is a practice or just one of the many tools of how to acknowledge and release emotions.